Want to make the best caramelized onions for a steak, pasta, salads, toast, you name it. Well, today I'm gonna take you in the kitchen and we're gonna go start to finish making some delicious caramelized onions. Really, the best caramelized onions in the world. So let's get in, I don't know why I said that with like a southern twang. Let's get in the kitchen and get to making these. So the ingredients for caramelized onions are pretty simple. You just need some yellow onions. I love to use Walla Walla because they're a little bit sweet and very tasty and you just need to dice those up. And then you need some olive oil, salt, brown sugar if you want at the end and some butter for the end as well. So how do you slice onions for caramelizing them? Well, first you peel the fresh onions and chop off the pointy ends, and then you slice on a cutting board in half, horizontally across the onion. And don't cut it in half through the round center, but instead from end to end where the points were. And then slice each half into a half inch wide um, segments, and they're gonna look like little half moon shapes. All right, so how do you caramelize onions on the stove? Well, what you need to do is heat a large cast iron skillet on the stove to medium high and add olive oil. And once the olive oil has a slight smoke to it, it's nice and hot, then you add in the sliced onions and salt. Stir constantly about every 30 seconds for five to eight minutes or until the onions are translucent and they begin to brown. Then you turn the temperature of the burner to low or medium low, depending on how fast you're trying to cook them. I'd say this recipe is about 45 to 60 minutes and you need to be stirring it every five to 10 minutes or more frequently if you're using a higher temperature. So be sure to scrape the fond, F-O-N-D. That's what they call the brown bits. Um, my husband was like very particular that we share that with you, but make sure you scrape those up. Um, that's gonna stick to the bottom of the pan and it's gonna create a lot of flavor in the caramelized onions. So onions will drastically reduce in size as they continue to soften and caramelize. You can actually cook them on low for this, for hours like this. So it's up to you to decide when they're caramelized to your liking and when you're ready for the next step. I like mine pretty soft and melted and really, really brown. And then at the end, you could add in some brown sugar and butter if you want. You don't have to do this. It's just a little bit of sweetness and some of that butter to add extra flavor. We usually like to do this. It's really good for caramelized onions on sandwiches or making caramelized onions for side dishes, um, for steak, for chicken, for pork, but you just, Throw those brown sugar and butter ingredients on top, cook for an additional 10 minutes on low, and stir occasionally. And then the onion should be a deep, beautiful color when it's time to serve them. So you can serve these delicious onions immediately or store them in the refrigerator for a few days. You'll find so many reasons to use them. You could also make caramelized onions to put on eggs. So like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can really enjoy caramelized onions as a side dish. Well, if you like really easy recipes that are packed with flavor, I have another one that I think you're gonna love. It's new to Sip Bite Go. You have to check out my new recipe for garlic parmesan chicken wings. They're so freaking good. All right, this cheesy garlic wing recipe comes together. You could either make it in the air fryer or in the oven. And then I teach you how to make a really simple white sauce that goes all over them. It's covered in garlic and parmesan cheese and it's so good. You've really never had gourmet wings until you try these. Make sure to head over to sipbitego.com or check out the Sip Bite Go YouTube video for garlic parmesan Parmesan chicken wings. And for more delicious recipes, make sure to subscribe to Sip Bite Go on YouTube. I have so many wonderful things heading your way. Well, now that you know how to make caramelized onions for steak, chicken, pastas, whatever, I hope you enjoy them in so many delicious ways. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers!